Hi everyone, Christina here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how I edit thumbnails using Adobe Express. This is a part of my video production series for beginners using Adobe programs. If you wanna check out my previous videos, I go over how to make an outro, tips for recording, and how to edit using Adobe Premiere Pro. Now let's get started making that thumbnail. Starting off in Adobe Express, I'm gonna hit this purple circle here. I'm gonna go to social media, and I'm gonna scroll down until I see YouTube and I'm gonna choose the YouTube thumbnail option. It loads in a document that is the exact size of a YouTube thumbnail and having the right size ensures graphic quality is kept. So the first thing that I wanna do is I wanna upload a photo of me that I've already taken and I just wanna edit that to start with. So to do that, I'm gonna hit upload, find my file and it will load in in Express. So here is my photo as it loaded in in Express. The first thing that I wanna do is remove the background. To remove the background, I'm gonna click on my photo and I'm gonna hit remove background. Sometimes it has trouble picking up on the main subject of the photo. We can see that it successfully cut out the background minus my fiance's arm over here. And no worries, I can still remove that. I can go to erase. Using the erase tool will allow me to remove his arm. Now, right now the brush is on quick selection. That means that it will automatically pick up on things. Now my background is completely gone, but if I wanna make a few edits, for example, maybe part of my hair down here, I can erase that as well. I'm gonna use the circle brush and I'm gonna turn down the size and just erase. And now I just wanna add a background that is pretty eye-catching but not too hard on the eyes I'm gonna go to media I'm gonna go to photos and I can search up whatever I would like or I can use the generate image tool to come up with a background for my thumbnail when I click on it I'm given options for my image size I'm just gonna hit widescreen I'm going to stretch it over my document and over here in the right side I'm gonna use my layer panel I'm just gonna move my generate image layer below the cutout of myself and then I'm going to type in a prompt and see what generates and now I have my prompt in I'm just going to hit generate and I've chosen the background image from my generative prompt I'm just going to move the photo of myself to the corner now I just want to move the screen of this computer that way I can insert a screenshot and make it look like the content of my video is on this computer screen I'm just gonna make sure that I click on my image using that erase quick selection tool I'm just going to click once on my computer screen and now it is blank and I'm just gonna hit. now I'm just going to go back to upload and I'm going to upload that image I want my computer screen now I have that image that I want in my computer screen I'm just going to make sure that it is below the layer of where the computer is located that way it is not covering everything else and I'm just going to resize it so that it fits more or less in that computer screen I'm gonna add a few icons by going to elements and going into icons and searching for what I like. Now I'm just going to add my big bold text that will be eye-catching and easy to read in a YouTube thumbnail. I'm gonna use the text tool, I'm gonna hit add text, and I'm going to type in what I like. Now I'm just going to drag it to where I like. I am going to choose a font. Now that I have my fonts in, I have my icons and everything else that I need, I believe I am done with my thumbnail. The last thing I'm gonna do is Download it by going to my download icon on the upper right and downloading it as a PNG. This format is an image format and it also allows for good quality. And now my thumbnail is complete. So what do you guys think? Pretty simple, right? Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.